you went to New York. They of course did all the touristy things. You know, they went to the Empire State Building and they were definitely singing Empire State of Mind at the top of their lungs, annoying absolutely everyone else. Um, they walked across the Brooklyn Bridge while talking, you know, mad shit about literally everything. Uh, they took the Staten Island Ferry to see the Statue of Liberty, um, and most likely both of them got seasick because we all know they can't, they literally throw up all the time. Um, they went to Central Park, and I almost said Central Perk, and I can't. They went to Central Park and had a picnic. They got like, uh, they couldn't decide on pizza or hot dogs, so they got like all of it. <laughs> And of course, they went to Times Square for a photo shoot before heading to the club. They go to a club. Now, here is some tea uh, that I can't wait to talk about more in character to like give details on. Um, Nikki met someone at the club. Um, now, in character, Nikki is bi. Uh, and she has never hooked up with a girl before. At the club, Nikki met Maya uh and tell me why when I was just like okay Nikki meets this girl named Maya that I'm thinking um okay hold on um haunting like I'll show you guys who I'm thinking of um tell me why Hold on, I gotta get I gotta get a good picture of this of this girl because holy shit, um, I'm thinking of Theo from Haunting of Hill House. Hello, ma'am, you're not allowed to be so gorgeous. Excuse me, ma'am. Anyways, I'm thinking of her. Um, Nikki met Maya at the club, and they end up going back to Nikki and Charlie's hotel room, and they hook up and charlie stays at the club she's just like yeah come back to the club when you're done <laughs> and um while charlie's at the club a guy gets handsy with her so she um assaults him and he gets mad and has her arrested um nikki is on her way back to the club uh, after the hookup and find and charlie gives her a call from a holding cell and she was a. Uh, so she drives down to the PD and she, uh, she sits in a, in a chair in the waiting room trying to figure out how to get Charlie out of jail so they can go home the next day. Um, th thankfully, the bartender that was working that night who saw everything was like, he came in and he's like, it was self-defense. He was like really inappropriate. And he's like, he convinced the guy to drop the charges. And so Charlie was released. Um, Nikki and Charlie rushed to the airport. Um, they grabbed like waffles on their way there. We decided that they would definitely be like, oh my God, these waffles. Oh my God, these waffles. So they get waffles on their way to the airport. They get to the airport. And then what happens after that, um, that gets Nikki separated from... Charlie. We'll find out in a second. But Nikki has a whole story as far as what happens after she gets separated, after Charlie flies off and Nikki finds out that the only flight back to LS is late that night. 